Sling study was the first study in the world to use electronic health records to monitor the safety and the outcomes of up to 7,200 people with long-term lung conditions, one asthma and one chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Asking people to take part in a clinical trial, particularly if an unlicensed medicine, requires their consent. So one of the challenges we had was to consent 7,200 people into this kind of a study, which no one had done before. So we had to sit down with people, explain what we we're going to do with their information, how we we're going to use it, why we needed that information to support the safety of the study. But because the study relied on the fact that we wanted people to almost not feel they were in a trial, to be as minimally disruptive to their everyday lives as possible. There were only two visits, one at the beginning and one 12 months later. Everything else was monitored in the background by the electronic health record system. So a very different way of doing things. And actually people really like that. So the benefits to patients of sharing their data, specifically around the safety monitoring, is that it allows us to extract their hospital records and their GP records, and it's only through this unique process that we can actually monitor their safety in real time. So if they weren't able to share that data, we'd have to get the patient in for visits and then ask them to recall verbally how they are feeling. So by sharing their data, it gives us much more accurate and comprehensive safety data to really look at and monitor our patients more safely. The recruitment to the study went very well and in fact because it was your usual family doctor, your GP, that was talking to you about the study and be able to sit down and explain it to you, we got a, a much better engagement with, with people. With regards to patient data, I think it's vital that the patient understands what we are going to be doing with the data. That we are not going to be using it for any ulterior motives or financial gain, but we are using it for improving care and allowing them access to newer therapies. I feel it's vital that we get, use the patient data for effective purposes. I enjoyed being part of this medical study. And 100% better since. Conducting research in this way in primary care, in the real world, has certainly got the potential to bring uh, medication to the market quicker, certainly cheaper, and ultimately more targeted and effective to the right patient population.